Well, here comes the corrupted superhero. You know, I often wonder, does Nikki even want to try to find the right path? Eh, probably not. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dewdrop from Glasgow, Scotland. Almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Well, lately, Nikki has been more like almost a super villain as opposed to a hero. That's what we call trending in the right direction, Saxton. That's what I call heartbreaking. Don't let the get-up fool you. Nikki A.S.H. is a battle-tested competitor. Hey, she helped revolutionize women's wrestling in Europe. And now Nikki's only interested in helping herself. It's called looking out for number one. Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. She's held the SmackDown, Raw, and women's tag titles on multiple occasions each. The second woman in WWE history to win the women's triple crown. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. Alexa Bliss, what a dark path she seems to have gone down. If anything, Cole, Bliss is transcendent. At times, her methods of madness seem supernatural, making her even more dangerous. Bliss's unpredictability is going to certainly make her a near impossible competitor to predict. And then you've got Nikki A.S.H., WWE's resident superhero adjacent superstar. Yeah, and don't let the costume fool you. Nikki's about as tough as they come. Face gouge! Oh, God! Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Left by the turnbuckles. Oh, that got turned around on Nikki. Ow! Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Discount rhinoplasty. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Insulting. Corey, what can you tell us about the transformation of Alexa Bliss? Taking flight, body splash. Not exactly the upper hand Nikki hoped to gain here. This could do it. She kicks out at one. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Nikki standing proud and tall against the competition. And a well-executed move we just saw there. And now Nikki is under immense pressure. And those punishing abilities of Alexa Bliss on display. Bliss has not lost sight of her goals. Agility like that, easier said than... Uh-oh, guys, and no good ever comes to this. Unfortunately, you are absolutely right, Michael. Chop block! Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Catching a drop kick. The bliss. This rivalry has gotten so personal, so intense. Who knows what these competitors will do to each other next? I'm guessing no one will be baking I'm sorry cookies. Only if they plan to shove the cookies down their throat, Saxton. That's what's going on with this whole situation now. <laughs> Big time clothesline. Good grief. That offense taking a toll on her. Escape just in time. Four of them. Oh, nothing fancy. 
crazy about that. Interesting strategy. Forearm. And Bush dealing with some defiant opposition. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Kick to the gut by Bliss. Follow by DDT. Nikki's in serious danger. For the win. Two. Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. She's able to get out of the way. Oh, superstar building incredible momentum. Come oh, I mean, this is, I don't know how the superstar is doing it. Down and out, moments ago, back in it now. Mickey now with her opponent and delivers a Samoan driver. Patented offense right there from Nikki A.S.H. Oh, this could be something. But if we see one more devastating move again, this can be over soon. And there's Bliss being greeted with yet another attack. Now the biggest question is, can Alexa respond? Oh, straight forearm. And Nikki's maintaining the advantage now. Alexa's got to flip the switch soon. truly be proud of. A victory earned through sheer tenacity and force of will. Tribal Chief, the most dominant champion of this era.
Well, here is the merciless leader of the bloodline. Yeah, you could make the argument that the bloodline is perhaps the most dominant group in the history of WWE. I think you're right, Saxton. Roman put his entire family on his back and has since pushed them all to incredible heights. By the looks of things, Roman Reigns is ready to continue his unparalleled domination. An excellent high flyer with an amazing family lineage. But now is looking to make his name at his family's expense. made his debut at SummerSlam. You could not ask for a higher pressure situation, yet Dominic Mysterio thrived and showed how much he has truly learned from the guidance of his father, Rey Mysterio. Dominic certainly wise beyond his years. He can do things in the ring that sometimes takes others years to learn. Richest prize our industry has to offer. This is the WWE Championship. For over 50 years, the WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship of professional wrestling, and tonight we may see a new chapter in its storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of them all. The man who lays claim to that title can call himself the very best competitor in this industry. They're slamming their face down. Just mounted with punches and not and a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Strong kick. My goodness. The challenger eating up some damage. And well-timed maneuver there. Disrespectful. Jeez, and Dominic looking worse for wear now. 
Reigns has always been a powerhouse. How crucial is avoiding those big maneuvers for anyone hoping to defeat him? It's the whole ball game, Cole. Reigns can be whittled down, but you have to avoid that one big attack because it is a game changer. You make him miss, you have your chance. Reigns is setting up. What started out a few short weeks ago with a few choice words has turned into an all-out blood feud between them. This is a level of aggression that few take it to, but when they do, it's all out war. Quick shoulder up. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Uh-oh. Reigns turns that around. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns! And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia! A third-generation star who at times has carried the women's division on her shoulders. Uh, to that point, Natalia has won more matches than any other woman in WWE history. She mastered the sharpshooter in the heart dungeon, and she's looking to unleash it tonight. Natalia's got tremendous power and aggression. Here comes the queen, Charlotte Flair. A woman who has truly done it all in WWE. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! If you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. Charlotte will stomp you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. A rivalry 
it just doesn't get much more heated than this battle of ring royalty. It's the Queen, Charlotte Flair, against the Queen of Hearts, Natalya. Both Charlotte and Natalya are passionate competitors who know how to make a statement. You have to think the winner of this match has to be considered the face of the women's division. Forearm to the face! Oh, oh, nothing fancy about that. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Running swan time. Boom. Natalia turns the tables. Charlotte Flair is so versatile as a competitor. Byron, given the intensity of her rivalry with Natalia, what should the Queen's strategy be? These superstars are so familiar with each other's styles. Natalia is a venerable powerhouse and the only female to graduate from the famous Hart family dungeon. That means the Queen of Hearts can take punishment just as well as she can dish it out. Something that adds intrigue to this matchup is both competitors utilize submission holds to defeat their opponents. The Queen must remember Natalya is a ruthless competitor and rains down hands like thunder on her competition. She's also a brilliant competitor whose ring awareness is off the charts. Charlotte possesses incredible resilience. She can end it here. Early kick out, referee right on top of the action. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. Snap suplex. She did not come here to play games. And Natalia dodges there. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? The speed with that elbow was mind blowing. What a forearm. Look at this. Oh, nice. She's feeling the hurt here. Veteran confidence and mind games on display from Natalia. Going up high with the punch. Caught square by the haymaker. Big clothesline. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. She adjusts it and reverses it. Ah, oh, reverse back elbow. So precise. Back elbow. See, did you see that? Oh, man. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Ah, the knee right to the face. And that one misses the mark. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. And able to beat Natalia to the punch. Ah, oh, reverse back elbow. So precise. Momentum is clearly against Natalia now. Charlotte's really turning it up. That's Charlotte Flair with a trademark chopping. Natural selection. The Queen has this wrapped up. Look at the fire in the eyes of these competitors. They've clearly been waiting for this match. Always interesting to watch rivals clash. You can just feel the tension in the air. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. Natalya wasn't ready. Queen claims her throne as Charlotte Flair defeats Natalia. Genetic superiority on display, gentlemen.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. I challenge you to find a more impressive young talent. Very skilled, but also very arrogant. Already so many titles and major wins to this young man's name. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Ah, oh, shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better having gotten rid of it. The age of Alexander continues. A man with C4 in his hands, rocket launchers in his legs, a truly dynamic competitor. He first turned heads as a cruiserweight, hit another gear in the Hurt Business, and now he's on the rise. Yeah, Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor and won't hesitate to go after anyone. Introducing the challenger from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Austin This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Oh, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Respectful. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Boom! And Cedric expected that. Pop kick on target. Oof. Often, whenever we talk about Cedric Alexander, we focus on how well rounded he is as a superstar. As his opponent, it has to be hard to find a hole in his game plan, right, Corey? It might be hardcore, but it's not impossible. You need to stifle his speed and agility, and the easiest way to do that is to outmuscle him. It won't be easy getting your hands on it, but once you do, you can't let go. Tying up their opponent. Brainbuster on the knee. Cedric 
Drake is in a very vulnerable position here. And I think we just might see. Oh, the ATM. Now that is why they're the champ. Cover. Two. It's over. He did it. Austin Theory remains champion. Here is your winner. And still, WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Here comes Trouble, a superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. A world-traveled competitor has taken her game to the next level since joining Damage Control. Well, some would say Kai's got a questionable attitude. But besides that, she's proven she will do anything to win. Well, now she has even more help in the form of damage control. Make way for the evil genius of the sky. And an evil genius who is now in control. And her partner, accompanied by Bailey, representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. An NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Classic winner, NXT Women's Champion, and multiple time WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Yeah, there was truly no limit to the future success of EO Sky, especially with damage control by her side. Well, lover or hater, Sky has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. You're right about that, Saxon. If we're lucky, we'll see another one tonight. The genius of the Sky about to assert control. Zelina, Queen Zelina Cole, put some respect on the crown's name. And from Queens, New York, Queen Zelina. Winner of the first ever Queen's Crown Tournament. Lest we forget, Zelina also became one half of the most beautiful tag team champions in all of WWE alongside Carmella. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Formerly a top manager, now sits all by herself on the throne in WWE. The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. 
She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way. Tag team action underway. Two teams duking it out for supremacy in this one. We talk a lot about who the best tag teams of all time are, but these guys are tired of talking. Both teams are looking to prove themselves and steal the show here tonight. Oof. journey for these superstars. They're not the same people they were when this thing started. There's no telling where it will all end. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Here's over. It's locked in. The Koji clutch. Oh, look at this. Is she going to tap? And she loses via submission. Big time win in this tag team match. Here are your winners. Dakota Kai. Eo Scott and the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. These two looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division. Here comes the street champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Time for the enforcement. 
Enforcer to make the Bloodline proud. Oh, I have no doubt he will do so. The Ring General has arrived. A man who ruled NXT with an iron fist and now looks to dominate the main roster. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunter! The Ring General has declared the match sacred and sees this industry as pure sport, meaning there is no room for games and antics. Now, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. And Gunther is a true throwback, guys. He reminds me of the great old-school champions who revolutionized this sport in the last century. If by that you mean he'll beat the crap out of you and not bat an eyelash, then sure. Gunther is a double tough and absolutely ruthless com from the top. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, what a headbutt. Oh, stomping away. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Elusive there. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Heel kick. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Oh! If you're a bruiser like Solo Sokoa, the path to victory seems pretty clear to me. You just have to focus on doing what you do best, and that's beating people up. The more ruthless your attacks, the better. Pretty straightforward advice, Corey. That's been a recipe for success for Solo in the past, so I imagine it will serve him well here. Winding up. Solo and Spike. Solo can end this now. I think they've made it obvious that this is far from over here, guys. Yeah, Corey, I just hope this gets resolved before someone gets seriously injured. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Seem to stop this offense. Solo just doing what he does best, beating people up with utterly ruthless attacks. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Sokoa is going up top. This is just brute power. Release German. Targeting the throat there. Ooh, bullseye. We might be close to the end. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Oh, my God. Right over the top and hit hard. Whoa. To the outside. This could get wild. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Solo proving just how dangerous he could be there. Channeling all his energy into pure destruction. And he gets set back into the ring. Winding up. Boom! Solid spike. That's it. Victor is out. level of fight still left in Gunther. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. High level of offense on display from yeah. Solo. Unrelenting attacks from Solo. Can there be frustration mounting in these competitors knowing it's going to take more to win this one? You can't let those feelings seep into your psyche. You have to keep your focus. Gunther able to steer clear. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Aggression in the corner. Yeah. Turning the tables. Oh, oh. Ooh, sharp kick. And back to the gut. Oh, oh yeah. kick connects. Bang. Avoiding contact. Gunther wants to finish this. Oh, Gunther, what just happened? How at this point, you don't even stay down long enough for a one count is beyond comprehension. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's... Right, the Boom! Samoan spike. The big gun fired yet again. Solomon Sokoa gets it. Here is your winner. And nothing to scoff at with that win, gentlemen. They got it done. He was as on top of things as he could possibly be here tonight. And look how it paid off. Yeah, now we're talking. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Punjab, India, weighing in at 452 pounds, the great Khan. The WWE Universe delivering quite a reaction, perhaps the most highly anticipated match of the night. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of his life. He knows what it takes to reach the top here in WWE. Here comes Madcap Moss. 
A man finally realizing his and potential. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 220 pounds, Madcap Moss! Don't tell Corbin this, but I'm kind of liking Moss's new attitude. Well, his new attitude has already paid dividends. Madcap Moss won the 2022 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. There is pure aggression on the face of Madcap Moss. I cannot wait to see him compete. We've got... One of the most outspoken superstars on the roster in the ring right now. Yeah, Cole, he's made it very clear what his intentions are and that no one is going to stop him. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. Facing off is the embodiment of intensity, the one and only Mad Cat Moss. Moss has proven he will take advantage of every opportunity given to him. There's a lot of natural talent there, but he's building his identity one match at a time. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. Oh, kick right to the back. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Able to parry that one. Now a series of vicious stops in the turnbuckle. Stops. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. He's able to sidestep there. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Gouging the face. Face gouge. Oh, God. A lot of people have said Matt Cat Moss is the future around right here. You think that kind of pressure helps or hinders you? To paraphrase a certain Scotsman who was once in a similar spot early in his career, if Moss gets caught up in the future, he'll end up in the past. Moss needs to stay focused, stay in the moment, and trust his talent and his instincts. The rest is just noise. Madcap connects with unbridled intensity. Moss doing what he does best and seizing opportunity. Has their opponent up and hooked up for a backbreaker. But wait, oh, there's no. more. What's it going to take to put this match away? And set right into the corner. So much damage inflicted. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. strategy is here, Cole. If this works, it could change the course of the match. From the top. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Now Madcap asserting control. Madcap Moss doing a great job of tuning out the noise and staying in the moment as he takes control. Back suplex, no. A side slam by Madcap. And now Moss could be closing in. His end is near. Oh, Madcap. Oh, the punchline. I think that's finally close. 
closes the book. Two count. It's over. Oh, and a nice work. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Madcap Moss! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. It's Miss Money in the bank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. She cannot afford to let Bianca Belair purchase real estate in her mind. Not if she wants any chance of taking down the EST. The women's revolution continues with a Money in the Bank ladder match. She is one of the top competitors in the women's division. And she's got double the proof you need. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Go! Get up! A look of confidence on her face. Rightfully earned as the double champ. And now she has two women's divisions gunning for her gold. Yeah, but this superstar is more than up to the challenge. She has been absolutely dominant, and I think that dominance will continue tonight. Showing the world titles that she has worked so hard to collect. When Candace and Bianca first squared off, LeRae was going through tremendous adversity in her personal life. Belair took advantage of that and manhandled Candace. LeRae has been looking to avenge that loss ever since. This is definitely a different Candace LeRae, Michael. While Bianca continues to dominate the competition, LeRae is focused on the task at hand and can be her best in the ring tonight. Don't go play Bianca's previous success on LeRae's lack of focus. We all have problems. You're either someone who breathes solutions or excuses. Oh, stop! She's beginning to flag a little. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Max Handle finds its target. The Poison Pixie turning her attention away from her opponent. I don't know if this is the right move. Belair able to counter. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Ooh, what a forearm club. 
Candice LeRae has no problem throwing punch into the wind. Bianca Belair needs to use all the strength to keep LeRae down. Incoming! But oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing! A completely ill-advised decision. Likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. His skills all the way to the top. Blast off. Diving DDT. Planted. Byron, I love this move. This is one of my all-time favorites. The Wicked Stepsister. Can you believe it? Candice LeRae. Oh, look the stomp. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. From the top, double X handle connects. Janice Lorraine looking to cinch it in. Here it comes. Locked in. The EST made TNT right here. This is a terrible predicament for Bianca Belair. Oh, this trap cross face. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Nice way to transition out of it. Candace was waiting for that. down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great, but now the arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, look at the stop. Placing them into the corner. High rent district. Oh, my Lord. Something is going to happen here, and it's not going to be fun. This looks like a Way better than Johnny's. Does Candace have Here is your winner, Candice LeRae! Candice LeRae picking up the win over a game, Bianca Belair.